good morning from Jungle Gyms International Market here in Fairfield, Ohio. It's gonna be a good one, guys. I love you guys know I love Jungle Gyms. This place is amazing. It is a huge international slash farmers market, but it's a lot more than that. They got a, this is the wackiest, craziest grocery store on the planet. I mean, this place is awesome. We're gonna go and check out a lot of the things that we haven't checked out in some other videos. We're gonna check out some of the animatronics. It's, it's crazy, guys. This place is awesome. They got all kinds of good foods and stuff like that to buy in here. International market, anything you can think of, they have it here. Let's go check it out. So we are here in the Rhino parking lot. Usually when me and Jessica come here, we park over here, over on the other side at the giraffe parking lot. But I wanted to get a good look at the monorail up here. The Jungle Gems monorail. Pretty epic non-functioning monorail but way cool nonetheless taste of the jungle we are here at the rhino entrance which is more the hey i want to just get shopping if you go in the the bigger entrance of the giraffe the giraffe parking lot when you walk in they have us uh, the the announcement greeting you into jungle gyms international market and they have all the different animals zoo animal statues and all that stuff it's, it's arguably a much cooler entrance but wanted to try this one today okay as soon as we come into the rhino entrance here we got the butter bar the best from europe and america all kinds of great butter here they got the west gold really good stuff right here west gold butter let's see some of the prices can get a bit extreme $4.99, but you gotta, they're paying the extra price to get a lot of this stuff too that you can't find in a lot of other stores. Got this Amish country butter here. This is $6.99 for this. You really need to come into Jungle Gyms with an open mind. Uh, and uh, probably bring a little bit of cash with you because you will wanna buy a lot of stuff when you come in here. They have all kinds of different spreads, different dips. I mean, just everything, just different things. It's, it's nice to try different things. And this, there's a lot of people over here, but this extends out, looks like a quarter mile, all kinds of dips and stuff to try. I mean, just, it's endless. Every time I come here, I get at least a few things that I've never tried before. Look at all these different kinds of cheddars, guys. Oh, it is just everywhere. They got Cabot everywhere. Uh, different kinds of Cabot cheese. Uh, we can find Cabot cheese in places, but boy, not like Jungle Gems. They got it everywhere. Look at this little chunk of Tillamook here. Hickory smoked, extra sharp, white cheddar. Right, some, all yellow cheddar cheese with tomato, basil, just any any craziness you can think of. You can probably find it here. If, if Jungle Gems doesn't sell it, it don't exist. Yeah, and if you like your adult beverages, guys, they got a liquor store. They, this is like the entire section. Not going to go back here today, but this is all beer liquor wine this whole extension all the way out to the end here is all wine beer and liquor i mean it's insane they've like i said if, if they don't have it here it, it doesn't exist and of course i can't come into jungle gems without checking out the 700 pound 700 pound cheese block let's go check this out oh this is a different one Different one from the last time. I think the last one they had was 755 pounds, I believe. 762 pounds, guys. Look at that. 762 pounds of cheese hanging from this giant crate. You can't tell me that ain't cool. The big cheese weighs in at 762 pounds. Did you know our big cheese takes three months to make before it gets here? It is then aged in our cooler until it's matured and is ready to be taken down for your enjoyment. How cool is that? guys it does it look at this i've tried this before this is delicious this is to melt this on something melt that on something it is absolutely amazing this is really good stuff it's 6.99 it's not cheap but i'll tell you what you can thank me later so i did want to quickly point out that if you're coming in the rhino entrance which is over here the rhino checkout they have two checkouts that are enormous the rhino check you want to make sure you check out in the area of where you parked because the giraffe area is going to be like 20 miles that way <laughs> i'm just kidding but th this place is enormous it is absolutely huge also 
If you need a quick pick me up, Starbucks is right next to the Rhino entrance. So I stopped by Honda earlier today. I had to get a recall on my car taken care of. It was a recall for like the rear camera thing. Didn't seem like it was much, but when you have a car under warranty, you want to make sure you take care of those things. They had complimentary coffee. I don't know what kind of coffee it is. It said Colombian. It's really good though. It was free. I like the price. So a fun photo op here are these bathrooms, these giant portalettes, which I know I've talked about these before, but for our new viewers, these are actually the giant bathrooms. You go in the portalette there and it actually opens up in a giant bathroom. I'm not gonna go in there and film anything, but just wanted to show it's, you know, the fun that Jungle Gyms brings here. Check this out. Got a couple pinball machines back here. In case you're waiting on a family member or something, use the bathroom or you just need to kill some time. A Jurassic Park here. All kinds of fun stuff here. Look at this, Kiss. One of my favorite bands growing up. Kiss Pinball Machine. Would you like to have one of these in your basement? Right next to the pinball machine here. Look at this. It's a Jungle Gems growler here. Jungle Gems growler. $14.99. Make a roar at your next get together with a growler from Jungle Gems. That is pretty awesome. That is heavy duty too. I like this, uh, I like this cap thing on here. That's pretty cool not over in this section as a matter of fact we're about to enter the basically what I call candy land section but they actually have a cooking school here where you can take cooking lessons with Lee Barnhart I'll tell you what I've I've never done it but I bet it's pretty neat lots of different kinds of candies that you can't find anywhere also they've got like zero sugar zero sugar candies get a lot of comments on those on the channel you know they're hard to find anymore they really are but Candy for days, guys. Gummy donuts, fun stuff. Look at this gummy peace sign. It's hilarious. Gummy pizza. Really? <laughs> That's interesting. And we got the singing Elvis down here. And I'll tell you what, he jams. Jamming away. All this candy, guys. All this candy. It's just unbelievable. We got the Eminem guys up here. We got the singing Elvis. We got all the Jelly Bellies here at Jungle Gyms. It's amazing. It just really is. It it's never ceases to amaze me. Every time I come in here, I'm just like in awe. We're going to start checking out some of the different foods over here and different farmer's market stuff. But I'm going to have to make a little stop here to their famous bakery. On the channel throughout a lot of our shopping for grocery videos, we always get a lot of comments if I, can, if I see any new sugar-free chocolates or candies. Oh, here we go. They got all kinds of different options here. They've got the uh, different vegan options here as well. Introducing our new vegan cookies and cream. Interesting. Got all the different macarons up there. All kinds of cheesecake, strawberry, shortcake there it looks like. Got some cream brulee here. All kinds of different cakes. Cheesecakes. Little mini muffins here. We got... Let's see, where are they? Where are they? Where there they are. There's the beauties right there, guys. Cannoli. One of the best cannolis outside of New York. Best cannoli I ever had was from New York. This is a very close second. They're very good. I'm not big on the chocolate ones. I just like the regular. Uh, they got some eclairs here. Very, um, and yes, they can get a little pricey, but I'll tell you what, they are made with love. Check out all these different truffles here. I mean, guys, they really go to the extreme to make not only the stuff really good, but a really good experience as well. I mean, these are just beautiful. I've tried the peanut butter one here, amazing. Amazing, The uh, they got the pecan pie truffle here. This one was amazing. Birthday cake, truffle cake, all different kinds. It's a little pricey, but I gotta say, you know, it's, it's kinda like, yeah, I mean, they're high prices, but they are very fantastic. This lemon blueberry here. And, and to be fair, they're very filling. They really are. Like, one of these will fill you up. Uh, but, yeah, a little expensive, but that lemon blueberry is amazing. Right here, just past Elvis, they have this themed-out movie time candy here with these old-style cameras and lights here. Different film reels. And here they have all the boxed candy you take to the theater. If you like, they got all the different... Uh, 
all these candies here as well. And this is actually the start of the candy. It's Jungle's Candy Spot. And it is enormous. Right here, just to the right of Jungle Gems Candy Spot, they have this horse and carriage up here of Gerber's Amish Farm here. Amish Farm chicken, gluten-free, vegetarian diet, no antibiotics or additives, cage-free, room to roam, sunlight and fresh air. Boy, they take care of these chickens. We've got a lot of good comments on these over the years and really, you know, for what you get here, some of the prices ain't too bad. I mean, they got the chicken breast here, uh, skinless and boneless, $3.99 a pound. Uh, always look for these different price deals, different sales here at Jungle Gems because usually every week they got something good going on. They got the chicken thighs here, $2.99 a pound. Gerber's Amish Farm. A lot of people on our channel love, the, love this chicken. Here straight from the Indiana Kitchen. Premium pork, no hormones, added gluten-free, no MSG, fresh and natural, guys. I'll tell you what, Jungle Gems pays a little bit extra. Look at all this stuff up here. Look at this. All this different theming. You know, old style seats. Got an old firefighter helmet there, old clock. Little wheel there. All this stuff. Look at this. Some of the... This just looks gorgeous. Got some pork loin center rib chops here. Dollar, dollar forty or uh, three ninety nine a pound. Three ninety nine a pound. Look at this. That's amazing. No additives. No, no hormones. Right here is where all the magic happens. Jungle Gems, old fashioned, dry aged prime beef. Look at that. There they are, right there, sitting in all their glory, getting ready to be chopped up for your enjoyment Got all kinds of options here too you never see anywhere else it's amazing i, mean, I like curly's curly's pretty good what's this right here got some original smokies beef and cheddar smokies here yeah all kinds of things to try so here under this like roman architecture here they've got the jungle gems cookware where you can find just about anything you need they also sell everything lodge as well so if you like Lodge like we do, but you know, check out Jungle Gems Cookware. It's their kitchen shop. So right here next to, like I said, like the Roman Coliseum looking thing. This is Lee, Leo's. Is that how she said it? Lee Barnard O's. I actually got a book here. I got a little video. Going on here, that's pretty neat. And yeah. You can actually take cooking lessons here from her, which is really cool. And again, this is right next to the big under this Roman looking building here. All kinds of cool stuff. We're gonna check out some of the animatronics and all that stuff. I'm just trying to check out some things that I haven't seen at Jungle Gems or some things that I haven't shown you guys. But yeah, this is pretty neat right here. I don't know, maybe me and Jess might do this sometime. So I walked in by the cookware here because I wanted to show you the jungle pets area there's just aisles and aisles and aisles of different things for pets. They are full. Kind of walk down there a little bit. Not going to point out everything, but I'll tell you what. If you live anywhere near Fairfield, there is a Jungle Gems out in Eastgate as well on the east side of Cincinnati, Ohio. But yeah, I just wanted to point out a huge section of pet stuff. I mean, it's, you know, some of the stuff can get a little more pricey, but at least they get it in. And right next to the Jungle Pets, we have a NASCAR. <laughs> Just sitting up there. Craft NASCAR, number 92. Who is number 92? Anybody know that? Let me know down in the comments. Now, as I am here directly underneath the Jungle Gems cookware and kitchen shop, you will notice that they just, all kinds of awesome looking books, different things going on here. Got all different kinds of utensils for things, different blenders and wacky looking toasters you've never seen anywhere look at that it's cusinart but look at that that is like space age space age toaster like this here all kinds of stuff you don't normally see in some other places and again you know they get a lot of stuff from around the world not just here in america check out these knife collections here too these are like heavy duty so heavy duty they have it behind a locked door 
Locked door, please ask for assistance. Herring knives, Santuco. Look at these, I bet these are, these are hardcore chef knives right here. Wow, Shun Cutlery. Yeah, these are uh, pretty good brands right here. Got the Messermeister there, wow. Yeah, these are, uh, it's, it's just cool to look at these. I mean, they're pretty pricey, but they're some of the best knives on the planet. So I am over here pretty close to the giraffe entrance. I may go outside just to show the giraffe entrance uh, in case we have any new viewers that haven't seen us. Look at all these different, uh, different statues here by Disney and all this. All these Jim Shore statues. You can't even really find many of these at Hallmark anymore. They got them here. Got a Harry Potter bag. Jason Voorhees backpack there. That is pretty awesome. Got Deadpool here. Different statues. Leonardo from the Ninja Turtles. Catwoman. It's just so much stuff here. Look at that. Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. Wolverine. This place is just incredible. They get things here that I you'd never see anywhere else. I, I know I keep saying that, but it's just crazy. If you're looking for some awesome Avengers stuff, I got Spider-Man, the Hulk, different collectibles here. It's unbelievable. Here's another Ninja Turtle. I think that's Leonardo as well. Or no, that's the last run, and I think that's uh, Michelangelo. Got some different Zelda stuff here. Thor. Okay, so just wanted to come out and show the giraffe entrance here. Where we got the gorillas, the giraffes, the main jungle gym sign. It's kind of the fun entrance here. You come in here, you'll see all the different, like, toys and Funko Pops. Different things from Disney, statues of Disney characters, those Jim Shore statues, like they got Spider-Man, Marvel characters, but wanted to just come out here before we go into the into the farmer's market, which is really what I'm really interested in today, but wanted to show the fun theming out here. Kind of beat to the jungle on your way into the store. Check this out. Got all these different Marvel characters, Stormtroopers. They got Halo, Master Chief. Isn't that cool? Got different, uh, let's see, Star Wars. Look at this. Is that a proton blaster? It sure is. That is uh, from Ghostbusters. Isn't that neat? You got uh, Obi-Wan there. You got some Stormtrooper helmets. All kinds of cool stuff. They got lightsabers. Oh, these must be the real deal. They're pretty expensive. 300 bucks. All this crazy wild stuff they have here, though. It's, you know, it's so worth coming to Jungle Gyms just to take a look at some of this stuff. They got Wednesday here. Look at this Wednesday from the, from the show. Isn't that cool? I know that was, a, me and Jess really liked this show. It was really good. If you're into the different, like, Halloween type stuff, they got, they got it all. Look at this. A Michael Myers mug from Halloween 2. Slay all day. That's hilarious. Got the guy from It. They have all these different puzzles from different horror movies. Ghostface. Got Corpse Bride. Chucky. Pennywise down here. Couldn't think of his name before. Pennywise. Got Michael Myers. All these different ones. Wow, it's just crazy the amount of stuff they have in here. They've got... Beatles, Monopoly, Abbey Road, Monopoly there. We got Iron Maiden, Somewhere on Tour. All these different things, look at this. Wall of Funko Pops. I know a lot of people collect these. Good for, uh, you know, birthdays and stuff like that. There's just a whole wall of them here. I don't know whether this is really creepy or incredibly awesome. Ronald McDonald, little plushy there with some other ones here. You got Venom, some different, uh, looks like some comics over here. Different toys, toys everywhere. I always try to show the podcast booth every time I come here. As to where they do a podcast, I believe it's every Wednesday. Yeah, every Wednesday. Uh, JungleGems.com backslash WJJI is their podcast. And they do it right here. Do it right here. See all the cameras and everything in here. Pretty awesome. You got some old airplane seats. 
you can sit and watch. Make sure if this is your first time visiting Cincinnati that you try some of the famous Grater's ice cream. They actually have one here inside Jungle Gems. I think I'm gonna actually get something. Okay, so I got my chocolate ice cream and peanut butter milkshake. They use uh, Jif Natural peanut butter here. So very nice, smooth flavor. Really good, put a little bit of whipped cream on there. Good to go. I was looking at some of the Lodge cookware here. Check out this stove. It's just another piece of theming here at this amazing Jungle Gems. It's amazing. I don't even know what year this was. Got the smokestack all the way to the top up here. Non-functionable. But I'll tell you what, it sure looks cool. I don't know, maybe late 1800s, maybe earlier, I don't know. So as we come through the arch of the different Lodge cookware and all that, we come up on the different like soaps and stuff like this. I know there's like a whole store of vitamins back in here. And this is like the main grocery store area where, where most people who are locals would do a lot of their local shopping here. Up here we got Campbell's, the Campbell's soup guy. They also have a fresh sushi stand with like two or three people constantly making sushi back here. Just all kinds of stuff going on. This place is amazing. It really is. Always look for these price magic stickers. This will be some of their best deals. Um, you can see they actually put how much you're saving on each sticker. So. If I was to shop here all the time, I would be looking for these all the time because Jungle Gems can get a little pricey on things, but they do have some good deals sometimes. It doesn't say on here, but I know this all started out. Uh, Jim started out as a fruit stand, different vegetable and fruit stand at like a farmer's market. And this used to be right here, used to just be one building, which was just the farmer's market. It's expanded into something enormous. But this is the first market, 1971 Erie and High Street here in Hamilton, Hamilton, Ohio, which is a little further north. But I do believe this might have been his first stand here, maybe where he first started. Not too sure. Look at this chandelier here. It's crazy. Oh, Campbell's soup guy going off, singing away. Okay, so I think I just figured it out here. I have to do a little bit of research on this, but this may have been the first place where they started. But this building right here, where they have all the different vitamins and all this, is actually the first building that they had here. This is where the farmer's market used to be, like in this side. I think this is the original building, but in 1974. That is pretty neat. If we look just to the right of the big Campbell Soup guy, we got the big cheese down here coming back around from where we were before. We've got boar's head, all the boar's head meats you need right up here under the truck. Got a bunch of people working at the deli. Boar's head everything, cheese, charcuteries, different meats. They got this olive pit here too, where they have nothing but different kinds of olives from everywhere. So I wanted to point this out, if you are shopping at Jungle Gems, like local shopping or shopping, you know, just regular groceries, the essential everyday items, essential everyday here, are gonna be like the store brand that they use. I don't know if it's actually their store brand, not really too sure, but it is the cheapest of the brands that they have. And they got like, you know, all the different corn, green beans, peas. These are 79 cents a can. I have actually tried the corn. It is actually really good. And if you give it the little shake there, not as much water as what we've been finding in a lot of cheaper uh, canned goods lately. Like that one's full. That one, yep, good and full. Try the green beans. This is a little thing I like to do. Make sure you get your, yeah. This, these feel like Kroger, like Kroger store brand. Kroger store brand, I, I, you, don't, you don't hear a lot of water mixing in there, meaning you're getting more. An absolutely insane amount of olives, guys. I mean, any kind of olive mixture you can think of, they have it. Ooh, what is this? Is this with mozzarella? Are those mozzarella balls? Oh my goodness, it is. Holy cow. Got these huge jars of Salia Kalamata olives here, pitted or whole, 
$14.99 for 4.4 pounds. That's a pretty good deal. More olives here. Look at these. That's a different green. Got some calamata. Somebody walked past me just now and said that these are usually $60. $60. This is a weekly deal. He said he bought two of them. $14.99 for something that is normally $60. That's, I mean, I'm half tempted myself. So over here, right to the right of the big cheese, the giant cheese that we saw, 762 pound thing of cheese. They actually have an entire charcuterie area here. An entire charcuterie area with all different kinds of different things that you can create your own. It's pretty awesome. Look at this theming too. All the different flags from around the world. All different kinds of charcuterie options, cheese options. It's just unbelievable. A couple good deals that I just noticed here. They have their like 1.25 liters on sale for 99 cents a piece and they've got 24 packs of 7-Up Coke Pepsi products. 24 packs, $7.99. $7.99, that's a good deal. These are like $13.99 regular price at Kroger. And here we enter the enormous farmer's market. Got different fruits up here. We've got some different red plums, $2.99 a pound. But look at these. They look amazing. You are going to pay a little more here. But you know what, guys? It's, it's fresh. It is like right from the truck to their market here. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. I've never gotten any bad produce here, ever. A lot of these prices are very similar to other stores anyway. They've got all the Washington Red Delicious Apples, Pink Lady Apples, Sugar Bee Apples. It's the only place I've seen these. Golden Delicious. They got them all. Look at this. Look how good they look, too. You won't find one bad apple in here. Well, maybe one. Who knows? But looks great. Absolutely awesome. There's Jungle Jim himself up there bunch of organic produce right here and here is the mass guys look at this look at this it's where they bring it in off the trucks right here and they just pour it out here it's amazing i mean it's it's such a cool process to watch all the different farmers and stuff bringing this from all over the country i mean it's just amazing look at these pears have you seen any pears in the grocery stores that have looked this good and they're about the same prices some of them even cheaper. Wanted to give you guys an up close and personal look at some of these potatoes. I have not seen potatoes look this good since the last time I've been to Jungle Gems. Look at these red potatoes right here. Look at that. Dollar nineteen a pound. Dollar nineteen a pound. Dollar forty nine a pound at Kroger, and you're not getting these. Got some beautiful looking garlic bulbs here. These are. Uh, these are $4.99 a pound, so they're they're not cheap, but I mean, don't have to say too much. Quality here is fantastic. All kinds of different squash here. We got the Mexican cabacha, cabacha squash, Costa Rica calabaza squash here. This is $1.49 a pound here, $1.59 a pound for the uh, calabaza squash. And then they have the variety hard squash here, $1.49 a pound. The most fresh green beans on the planet, guys. Look at these. Look at these. 99 cents a pound. 99 cents a pound. So it's way cheaper than anywhere else. And great quality. They have these enormous southern sweet potatoes here. 88 cents a pound. 88 cents a pound. Really good deals here. I'll tell you what. Not bad. I mean, some of these deals here are even much better than some other stores. We've got some Peru ginger root here, $2.49 a pound. Look at these. Just look at them. This one, look at that. It looks like a little dog. Isn't that funny? <laughs> it's like a little doggy. Okay, so you got to get two of them to get them for $5, I believe. These are Mexican jumbo avocados. Look at these. It's the biggest avocados I've ever seen in my life. It's like as big as a baby's head. So I remember somebody asked me about a month ago if I'd seen any fresh okra. I've, I haven't seen fresh okra in so long. They do have it here at Jungle Gems though. Look at this. Fresh okra everywhere. $2.99 a pound. And up here we got the Gilligan's Island boat. Apparently they got stranded here at Jungle Gems. And here we got the, the General Mills Band. Sorry, Rabbit. Twix are for kids. I got all the Lucky Charms and your Honey Nut Cheerios. General Mills 
and the Jungle Gym Cereal Bowl Band. Isn't that fun? So once you go past the main farmer's market, you actually have the international farmer's market right here underneath Bart Simpson. And then it takes you back into the international fruits and vegetables way back there and all the different items from around the world. So like, yeah, all throughout here, we just came from way back here where the apples were. We came all the way through. All the fresh greens and everything are over there. It's getting very crowded over there. So I'm gonna try and stay out of the way. Just wanted to show some of the international different uh, vegetables here. They got some bok choy, some Korean daikon, D-A-I-K-O-N, however you pronounce that. They got some Chinese leeks here, some a choy stem, bunched cilantro, Thai basil, all kinds of different things here. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. It just, it goes on and on and on. You, you, you could spend two or three days here and still not cover it all. All the fun theming here. Eat fish and live longer. We will clean your fish, fresh fish selection for you for free. Got this Popeye scene up here. Popeye the sailor man, there he is back in there. Right in there. Popeye and Bruno. I mean, this is just too cool. Got a little, little tackle shop up there. Super well themed. Check out these colossal king crab legs. $79.99 a pound. My goodness, I mean, that's it's cool to look at, I guess. Got some jumbo, jumbo Alaskan red king crab legs. $59.99 a pound. Then they just got the average... Uh, pr pretty okay deal on these. $14.99 a pound for the Colossal Snow Crab Clusters. And they got just the cheaper Snow Crab Clusters. $10.99 a pound. I, I would probably pick these, especially because they're on sale. All these different fish here. They got some dressed catfish right here. Got some walleye. Some cod loins. Boneless trout. Look at this. They even got caviar. Different caviar, all different throughout here. Look at these guys. We got whole black rainforest tilapia. They look uh, look a little cold there. Look at this whole eel. Ever been that close to an eel? Just, oh. Now we get into some of the good ones here. Whole red snapper. That's a delicious fish right there. Got some whole blue fish. Whole blue fish with the big mouth, the wide mouth there. Got the hybrid striped bass. Whole Brenzini, that's striped bass, $9.99 a pound. That's actually not bad of a deal. It's a different whole, whole walleye here. Look at that. Yeah. Throw you in the oven. Got some whole Boston mackerel here. We got a lot of mackerel lovers on the channel. Boy, that's a beautiful fish. It really is. Got some whole white fish here. Whole white fish. Basically, basically the, the flaky cod, as I like to call it. Got some Spanish mackerel right here. Look at these. Boy, those are beautiful. Got a whole king mackerel. Look at this guy. I took out the king. Took out the king. And all his little soldiers. Got some black mullet right here. Well, hello, guys. How we doing? Well, you look happy, don't you? Look, it looks like he's got a little smile. Uh-oh. No, no, don't pick me. Don't pick me. You're curious. It's tilapia. Live tilapia. It says price magic, but I think I remember these being $12.99 a pound the last time I was here. A little one. Some pretty big ones here. Oh, that one looks like it's pregnant. Nope, looks like we got a little log jam over here. They are they're ready to go. Responsibly raised in the USA, certified naturally grown, no hormones and antibiotics, high quality feed, non-GMO, no land animal byproducts, clean, clear, healthy environment, 100% rainwater. Wow. Good to know. We're going to war here. Just gonna kind of pan over, look around some of the different international foods, guys. I'll tell you what, this is if you're looking for an international market, 
I mean, it's just enormous. It's amazing. We're going to go back and check the rice. I'm going to show you where they're hiding all the rice. But if we look up here, uh, different things from Africa, some Hispanic foods, Middle Eastern, Eastern Europe, China. Uh, Germany's back here somewhere. They got the Italian pavilion over here. We'll just call them pavilions, right? Very, very Disney themed. So we got like different Disney animatronics and stuff throughout, which I didn't cover today as I was up in the front of the store, mostly because we've gone over that stuff before. Check out that fire truck. All this stuff back in here is a lot of different Asian foods. We have Thai here, all kinds of different Thai canned goods. And, and I mean, these come directly from uh, where you see. I mean, it is just amazing. You know, they, they pay the price to get them here. Jungle Gems has been well known for being able to get everything from all over the world. I, you know, I really, I don't think it matters where you live. You have to come to Ohio to check out Jungle Gems. There's, there's a few other fun vacation spots you can try here. Uh, number one zoo in the country, in my opinion, Cincinnati Zoo. Uh, we got Kings Island theme park. We have the museums downtown. I mean, there's lots of reasons to come to Cincinnati, at least spend a few days, because you're gonna spend at least two days here and uh, bring your wallet with you. Yep, plenty of rice here at Jungle Gems. I mean, it is absolutely everywhere. I will say though, it is lower than it usually is. It really is. Usually these are packed sky high and it doesn't look like any of them are right now. Now they have a lot over here too. But yeah, you want different kinds of rice. You want to find rice from all over the world. They're getting in here huge bags of jasmine rice here. $20. $20 for a 20 pound bag. Got some different sushi rice here. $15.99. So you know some pretty decent prices on this as well. Yeah, I will say they are low. They are a lot lower than I'm used to seeing, but normally it is, you know, through the roof. Asian countries absolutely love Disney things. You will find a lot of uh, Disney themed like packaging foods, uh, penny, penny banks, money banks, just random like toys from different countries. That's pretty cool. And if you're wanting to try some new ramen noodles or some ramen noodles you've never had before, Look no further than this enormous two aisles goes back and around. Matter of fact, they have deemed this the world of ramen. Over here in Great Britain, we got Robin Hood up here. Robin Hood reward. $5,000 for Robin Hood. I will take my five grand now as I have found him. And over here, off in the distance, Little John. The not so little John. Isn't this cool, guys? I mean, that is just, that is amazing. Sherwood Forest up here. And over here, you can find all kinds of different foods from Great Britain, Europe, or the UK, just all kinds of different foods from across the country, across the world. Over here in the back corner here, we got like the England sign. We've got a bunch of English teas, a bunch of British teas and everything. Different coffees. Coffees from England. I mean, how cool is this? How cool is this also right here? We've got more of Sherwood Forest Made Marion. Made Marion from Robin Hood. And over here we got Friar Tuck. Friar Tuck, I don't know who this is. That might be another Loxley. Doesn't look like the uh, Sheriff of Nottingham. Oh, over here, it actually looks like Jungle Jim himself has sided, has sided with, well, now is that, that isn't the sheriff, that's the king. That's the king who the sheriff tries to take over while the king is gone. Looks like Jungle Jim has sided with him. Hmm, is that the sheriff? So back here is where we saw that tea and coffee and here's some more English tea. Can you tell? That in England, they love their tea. Oh, yeah, and here's some more and more and more. It's unbelievable. Twinings, different twinings that we don't see in some other places. And that go, oh, look. Is that the old, the old telephone booth thing with some, with some 20 tea bags in it? I love this place. Scones, anyone? 
Get your own scone mix here. Wild blueberry scones. Sea salt flakes. Different figs. Fig reserve. Ginger curd. Wow. It's just crazy. Black currant preserve. This is Mrs. Bridges. And we have a lot of viewers from the UK. Let us know down in the comments if, if you use any of these products over there. Which ones are good? Okay, so this is a bit ridiculous. You could probably spend like your entire trip in one section of the international market here. This is another complete aisle of tea. Of tea. They love their tea. Maybe I'll just drop you. Kind of checking out some of the India area here for just a second. It looks like this is like an old school cab in India. As a matter of fact, to give a little bit of information here, could you be a taxi driver in India? Front wheel is connected to handlebars which steer and operate the gears. A separate handle below the dash engages the brakes, so it's a handle. Below the windshield is a lever that operates the windshield wiper. The horn hangs in the doorway to the driver's right. Do you imagine riding around in one of these? Crazy. Oh yeah, and uh, many more different rice options. Like an absolute insane amount of rice. So if you're hunting for rice, you may want to check out Jungle Gems as they have tons and tons and tons. I didn't even know they had this here. We've got it all and more. Boy, you can say that again. That's just one set. They're just talking about this little section here of like clothes and stuff. Completely on the opposite end of the store. And if you want to get even more confused, Jim's got both both fingers going in both directions. Guys, it's just insane. So we were way back there in that corner. I wanted to come out here as I'm starting to start to make my way out here. I'm actually doing a little more than I intended to today, but I wanted to show kind of this like German theme back here. All this back here is the Germany. German foods. I'm going to come here one time and I'm going to just do the international market because this, to give you an idea, the inter international market back here is probably as, as big as like two Kroger stores. So definitely have to just spend a day here and check out some of the international foods because I'd like to go over a lot of this stuff. A lot of the German, uh, a lot of German candies are amazing. Over here, we've come up on the penguins in the frozen zone. Penguins in the frozen, the cold area. Looks like they're having a good time. I don't know if they dance. Most of the animatronics, most of these like dance around every like few minutes. Nothing special though, just like ice cream and stuff. Well, that was our trip to Jungle Gems International Market. Guys, this is one of my favorite places to visit on earth. This is the craziest, wackiest grocery store in the world. I mean, it is, it is amazing. Uh, one of the largest farmer's markets in the world. Uh, one of the, I think it's the biggest international market, uh, at least in America. I mean, this place is incredible. The only thing I would say, bring a good pair of gym shoes. There is a lot of walking, a lot of walking. Also, quick tip here. One thing about the Rhino, uh, the Rhino entrance here. Uh, if you're if you're just looking for like, they have a little cigar shop in there too, which I didn't know about. Uh, they've got a cigar shop and all of the the, the adult beverages, liquor, wine, um, beer, everything is closest to this area. So if you're coming here just for that. This is kind of where that opens up into that section. And this is like a whole supermarket of liquor and everything. I mean, it's it's crazy how huge it is. But to get the full experience, to get the full opening and fun adventure opening here in the Jungle Gems, I recommend parking in the giraffe parking area where that will open up into all the different toys and, and just the fun stuff. All the I, I didn't really cover as much of that as I have in other videos, but you know you come in there you just feel good it's the feel good entrance we'll call it right right there front and center you got the jungle gems podcast which is every wednesday where you can listen to them and they talk about jungle gems everything going on here there's so much going on here all the time and it opens up into the main store on the other side like the main probably i would say local shopping market 
and then it opens up into the enormous farmer's market and then the unreal international market back in this place is huge i need to just do one video where we just go over a lot of the different international market stuff i've done that before but doing that once i kind of think i got a better idea on how i want to do a video next time talking about some of that stuff so if you are uh, from around the world maybe outside of the country uh different countries around the world some of the different international things for us let us know what some of your favorite items are so next time we come to jungle gems maybe we can check on those things anyway guys thank you so much for watching the video today with all that being said i am out and always remember the adventure is up